On this episode, we go back to basics. I have created a button. Ha ha. And then we do nonsense. We can shoot enemies if you want to. In any case, cool things are happening. Ah ah ah. The coffee is finished. Hi, everybody. I am Christian. This is Lasers Academy. This is our advanced shmup tutorial. This is episode 61. Today we are working on our bullet pattern system. We are creating already simple bullets. Before we get to the bullets though, there is one thing that I noticed on the last episode that I haven't talked about, but I want to talk about now. Um, while I was... While I was working on those bullets that we just had, uh, by the way, autosave, kind of an important function. We kind of need it in all of the editors. We definitely need an autosave. We're making too many of those mistakes and I want to fix them uh, soon-ish. Um, but there's also another thing that I want to avoid and that is gonna be um, uh, prevent scrolling after, after exiting to list. So um, this is a bit of a weird thing, but I haven't noticed like if it's if you're editing a sprite that is up in the, in the very first numbers of the list, you know, you go in there, you go out there, it's it's, it's no problem, it's, it's easy. But if you're editing a, uh, can I scroll here? If you're editing a sprite all the way at the end here, right? I'm editing here and I'm going out, you get the scroll at the end that I don't like. So I want to kind of like maybe remember the scroll value from the list view and then when I return, I want to, to return that to that scroll value. That is something that we're gonna, I'm gonna put in the to-do list. I'm not gonna do today. We're probably gonna do like a, um, an episode where we go through all of those little tweaks and fixes. For now, I'm, I'm good because we want to work on the, wanna establish those, the, this bullet editor. Uh, let's go. Let us edit, load, uh, pet, edit, the bullet pattern editor. So as we said, we can create those patterns. This is really cool. But now we want to create the UI to actually edit those patterns. Mm, let me see. Let me show. I always have to see what we already have. Well, it actually makes sense to have a cell pad. This is going to be the selected pattern, right? And when we're clicking, uh, I can already know, <clears throat> I can already tell that we want to uh, actually update. There, pet shoot. We want to uh, shoot with a selected pattern. So now pattern one is selected and we're shooting with a selected pattern. Beautiful. And now I want to get in there and I want to, uh, yeah, start creating the different types of, um, different types of UIs. Let me see, let me see. Refresh pads. Okay, so this is empty. Uh, let's just create, I haven't, been, I haven't done this in a while, I'm sorry. Let me, uh, let me, let me see, let me see, what is this? Oh yeah, this is, this is a table view. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, add, let's, let's add, I wanna see a button. <laughs> it has been a while, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to create a line of buttons uh, in a menu, and in this here, I want to create a single button, and I'm just going to see what a button, what what's in a button? I think this is this stuff here, right? This stuff, yes, yes, this is the stuff. Hello, from the other side. Uh, yeah, that's command. <clears throat> I, I uh, it comes back to me. It comes back to me. Uh, yeah, this seems good. This seems good. Let's see if this works. I have created a button. Ha ha! <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. Okay. Uh, so here in the first button, I always want to. And actually, it doesn't matter what. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I always want to create. Um, write down the number of the current currently selected pattern. Very easy. <clears throat> So do something like this, this arrow, dot, dot, cell pad, dot, dot, and this arrow. Something is wrong, yeah, there's a dot missing. You know, it's like riding a bike, I'm right in there. Okay, so, you know what? 
Let's, let's do it a little bit. Okay, pat one, okay? Uh, and now, uh, while we're already here, uh, let's do a command pat here, and then we're gonna do, go an update function. Um, and here we can already start doing stuff. We can go like, uh, okay, so this is for shooting stuff, right? Do bulls and so forth. Um, yeah, that's okay. And then we're gonna go, Um, if cur y is equal one, then you know what? Let, let's do it like this. If cur cur u cur y is equal one, so if um, the current selected cursor is one. <coughs> Then we are gonna go through the pattern. So we're gonna go cell pat, cell pat. So we're gonna increase cell pat by one and decrease cell pat by one. And then we're gonna go something like cell pat equals um, mid one cell pat uh, hashtag pat. Something like this, right? Is it pat or pats? It's pads. Okay, so just like making sure that we cannot select a pad outside of the available patterns, then this should be good. We can totally switch now between the different patterns. And now when we shoot, now we're shooting the standard pattern, a standard bullet, this the little bullet, and a big chunky bullet. Oh. Okay, this is good. Later on, I'm gonna add like an additional step there so we can create new patterns. But for now, let's continue with our beautiful UI creation. Good. Next up, I want to show a little button that shows us what type of module, pattern module it is. I don't have a good name for this. Modifier, uh, it's, it's difficult. It's kind of like one of those things that doesn't have a good um, uh, metaphor. For what we're doing here, but uh, let's, let's let's just do this. So here we're gonna do uh, another button, and this button will be um, well. Uh, we should maybe create like a local my pad pads uh, cell pad, uh, and then here the text is gonna be cell pad. Just gonna dump it straight into here. Cell pad one, boom. Just gonna the type of the pattern that we're talking about. And it's always gonna be a four-letter word. And the command is gonna be pat. Um yeah, pat edit. And then CMD Y is gonna be uh cell pad cmd x is gonna be one i like this now the position is not quite correct i'm not sure what position is gonna be let's let's go for 10. all right that, there we go that's the base but it's not quite what we want let's go here not quite what we want let's go here oh yes the two is is not correct it's not correct. It's supposed to be 13, I think. Same thing for this guy. Yes. Okay, it tells us that this is kind of like a base pattern that we're talking about. And the thing is, the next part is kind of dependent on what kind of pattern we're talking about. Like the menu that we're building up next up is kind of not always the same. Um, and I'm thinking how best to do this. Uh, let's do a for i equals uh, two to number cell pad. Do. So we're looping through all of the remaining patterns, and let's just write all of, like all the remaining entries in this pattern module. Uh, which in this case is going to be, you know, next up is going to be speed, angle, animation, animation speeds, collision, you know, this, this kind of stuff. Let's do this and then let's write, just write them on there. 
y mm. is going to be something like 20 plus i times 7. Let's, let's do something like this. It's going to be wrong, but it's going to be, we're going to, we're going to figure out <laughs> how wrong. Uh, and then cmdx is going to be i. Uh, yeah, let's try that. For now, just dumping all of the values on the screen. Uh, there's something wrong. Oh, right. Cellpad is not correct. It's supposed to be my pet. Cellpad is just the number of the, of the selected pet. My pet is actually the pet that we have here. Uh, okay. Yeah, there it is. There are the different numbers. That's the values that we have in our pattern, but obviously uh, this is not correct. Um, and let's put it higher up. Wow. For some reason, that's also not correct. Well. Oh, right, 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 because it's I. Mm, I see, I see. Is this inch it ever so, so, yeah, this is good. So now base is kind of like offset a little bit. It's like, it's its own thing, you know? And then we have like the different, different um, fields for the different entries. Now we have a thing that allows us to Right? There is a thing. We have a function that allows us to size the different things. Um, but you know what? Let's let's do that later on. For now, um, the different numbers, the different data entries in our pattern module, um, they like these are just numbers for now. We want to label them so we remember what each number does, right? And these are going to be different depending on the different number, the different modules that we're talking about. Right now, we only have one module, base module, so Maybe we just gonna do like a simple solution then. Later on, we're gonna have to label them differently depending on what kind of module we're talking about. Different modules, the numbers will mean different things. Um, for now, let's do like something like local my cap. This is my no cap. <laughs> this is my this is my list of of captions for the different modules, uh, and it's gonna be for different. Eight entries, data entries in the module. And this is going to be like <clears throat> ang. I think the first one is angle. Let me see. Oh, I can actually tell from the, yeah, first one is angle, speed, any, any s, which all means that we are both working with four entries and then. Uh, call something like this. Okay, so this is these are these are going to be my captions, and these captions will change depending on what kind of type uh, we're talking about. For, for now, we only have one type. We're going to think about this. We're going to obsess about this later on. Um, okay, so now I want to add the caption as a button. So this thing is going to be the button that is the caption. This is actually the button that, that edits stuff. Uh, the command here is going to be nothing. And the text is going to be my cap. I minus one. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, four. Like this. Doesn't really matter that much. Now the exposition here is going to be a bit further in the head. Let's, let's go 20. Yes, so even more, 30. Too much. Um, 28. 27. 26. Is that good? Or should we just merge them? Yeah, I think we can merge them. I think that's okay. Can we, is it 23 okay? Uh, 24 was better. Yes, yeah, let's merge them together. Okay, now I want to space the the, the buttons that we're, that we're having here because the, the buttons are like, for the different values are just like too wide. They're kind of like encroaching on the, on the space here. Uh, so let's see if we can make this. I, I, I could have sworn I had made a function for this. Let me see. Space Jam, yeah, there it is, Space Jam, it, it's in tools. Okay, it's not here. 
It's not here. It's not here in, in the pattern editor. Well, now we're going to put it in there. Space Jam. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. And then this is going to be Space Jam. Is it like this? Uh, what 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 does Space Jam accept as? It's just a number. Okay, so it's gonna be Space Jam hashtag hashtag to string just to make sure. Okay, so now the the numbers are formatted correctly. The, the the buttons are formatted correctly to encapsulate the different numbers. Now, our next step is to first of all to be able to step through the different different entries, and then we're gonna add some code to be able to edit those different entries. First of all, cursor navigation. Um, let's do something like this. If um, this, then cur x equals one else yes 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 let me let me let me just do this mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this is good uh we're gonna yes something like this we're gonna just copy this stuff so if cur y is smaller than menu uh yeah sure cur x equals cur x minus two uh, it's a little bit uh you know leftover craft okay so this is good now we should be go yeah we don't have the stuff to go up and down so let's do this um mm -mm -mm. let's go like this and then like this. Yes. Okay, we can go through all this stuff, but alas, um, we actually we actually never need to go sideways. <laughs> uh, uh, else, if cur y equals. To then else. Um, so cur x, cur x equals 2, and then cur x equals 2. No, like this. Okay. So the, the thing is, I didn't want to select the captions. I only want to select the data when I'm going moving with the curse. Okay. So we now can move through the, with the cursor through all this stuff. Let me uh, update the to-do list here. So let the patterns make the patterns do the thing. We kind of did that. Um, now we're working on the UI. So edit values is something that we would definitely want to do next. Uh, create new patterns is something that we also want to do. Uh, new paths. Let's call this paths. Uh, and I want to finish those those two things up today for sure. Um, yeah. Let's go to the edit new values part. How does that work? This is going to be an update function and you know it's the same thing that we did so many times now. So if we're pushing the button then amazing stuff happens. Um, so here pushing the button we're going to get the menu. If the command is equal what's the command? Pet edit. Uh, then we're gonna set this to type. Um, these things uh, we're gonna we can we can already already say new pad. Oh, there's one more thing. We probably also want to delete patterns, right? Del pad. Uh, I'm already gonna do create new paths. Delete paths. Okay, so now we need to 
There is the one thing that I want to do here. Um, this I'm, I'm copied this directly from um, from the brain editor. So there's like this callback variable that we haven't done, but we should do now. This this idea that um, pressing enter is not always the same thing, uh, because right now it's always the same thing, and I want to change that. So here in UPD type, uh, when we press enter, we don't call all this stuff. This is going to be a thing. We always do that. We always do that. Instead, we're going to just call the callback. I should have, in, in hindsight, I should have maybe uh, add this to like the standard editor uh, capabilities, but oh well. We're going to paste this in here. So this is going to be enter table. This, this is something I copied directly from the brain editor. We already did that so many times. So this could be enter table and an update function when we are editing the, this is the update table. This is like the old table view of those those things. So we're going to be like um, callback equals up the enter table, right? And then here, usually this is um, the callback is enter pad. Mm. And then we're going to enter pad. We're going to edit this here. And we're going to call this enter pad. Okay, just like have two different types of functions that process the input from our in typing in stuff. This is from, from the old table view that we're probably not going to use, but we're going to keep it around. This is from the actual pattern editor. So this gets us the menu item that we're um, typing. This gets us the text. If the text is nil, then silly stuff happens. We, this, is, this, is, this is actually highly dependent on what, what we're talking about. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, data cmdy cmdx equals type val. This is actually correct. And then uh, upd, uh, we're going to return to the standard update function, and that is going to be update paths, uh, like this. And you know, this is almost correct. This is actually almost all that we need to do, honestly. There are small, small things that we want to do. And I'm considering how to do them. Okay, so uh, if CM, my menu cmdy, uh, cmdx. So if we're editing the first entry in a pattern module, um, that changes the type of the pattern. Uh, and this is this one is a bit tricky, I have to say. Um, yeah. So if this is one, then Tricky. Else, is, is is what I want to say. Uh, so if an else, it's very easy. Just we're gonna do like a uh, to num. I'm gonna change it into a number because I think most of the data in a pattern module is gonna be numbers. Um, so we can just type the changes into a number and everything is going to be good. Um, if we're editing the entry, and again, that's that's tricky. And, and, and hmm. you know what? Right now, right now there's only one type and that's base. <laughs> so whatever we type in, we're going to call it base. <laughs> just making my life a little bit easier, okay? Um, Let's save this, let's run. So now I can, hmm, I pressed enter and it, 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 it didn't do the thing that I wanted it to do. Yeah, I think I deleted too much. Let me see. I need to do the poke here. That's, I copied this directly from brain edit. This poke uh, cancels the menu uh, popping up. So now I can put the one in here and now, now the one doesn't do anything. We can can do zero point five, and now we can play uh, shoot upwards, and then zero point one. We can shoot diagonally. Cool things are happening. Ah ah ah! All right, let's see. Let's well, let's see if, if everything works. We can make the speed go faster. Is that is that possible now? Yeah, the speed goes faster now. See, this is a really nice fast bullet. This is too much. Um, so I think my original was like this was supposed to be one. We can make the speed go, um, the animation speed go faster. And I think this is a little bit too harsh. This is a little bit too much, I think. I'm not sure. I think three might be, might be correct. 
Let's continue on with our to-do list so we can edit the values. This works really well. Oh, I want to see if I can save those values. So if I have angle 0 0.2, now it's going sideways. And then I export, export it, and then I restart. It's still 0 0.2. Okay, so it's exported correctly. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, and then let's see if we can make a crazy animation. <laughs> We can shoot enemies if you want to. Um, so we need to create new paths and delete old patterns. Um, with deleting patterns, I think it's pretty clear what we want to do. And that is going to be uh, when we're creating the UI. I want to, at the, at the end, maybe create like a delete button. Um, I'm just going to add something in here, very simple. Add a new line for the menu. Oh man, the indentation. No, my indentation. Uh, yeah, this is good. Okay, um, the text is just going to be delete uh, the, uh, at, uh. Yeah. Uh, the command is going to be del pat uh, command y is sal pat command x is nothing Uh, this is correct. Uh, I is going to be uh, my hashtag my pet. Hashtag my pet times seven plus nine. And no, it's not going to be efficient, but who cares? Uh, there's something not close. There is something not close. Ooh. Like this. Okay, so now we have this huge, huge delete button. We cannot select the delete button, and we also cannot select the uh, a new pattern slot, so we can put a pattern in. That's something that we still need to work on. Okay, uh, let us do that next. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Update paths. This is the update function. Mm. Why can't we select it though? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go if, else if cur y equals hashtag menu, then we're gonna go cur x equals one. <laughs> uh, it's fine, it's fine. And then here, when we're selecting the patterns, Yes, uh, we're going to go uh, plus one. And we're going to go if cur y is smaller equals smaller. Or is, is great. Something is wrong with my fingers right today. <laughs> uh, if this is greater than. Uh, so we've selected a um, pattern that doesn't exist yet. Then we're gonna go then. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. This is this is this is all wrong. Here is where we're doing this. <clears throat> like this. Now this. Should, I'm gonna see what kind of problem this this causes us. Already causing a problem. What? Okay, so now we've selected, um, we're trying to refresh the patterns on a menu that doesn't exist. So we're gonna go if um, cell pad is greater than hashtag pads. Else, and everything, 
Or actually, just let let's let's just add one thing here. I'm just gonna so in case we are selecting something that is outside of the range of available patterns, uh, kind of like a, the new slot for a new pattern. So we're gonna create like something like new pat. Uh, like this. Uh, new pad. And then we're going to just return. Yep. Maybe too much spaces at the end. Yeah, that's good. Also, want to make sure that if this happens, then we cannot shoot. This is a kind of important. So, so we can shoot now, we can shoot now, we can shoot now, we cannot shoot now. <laughs> kind of important. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 good, good, good. I um, want to make sure that I cannot go up and down. Yeah, I cannot go up and down. Okay. I can I can select the delete button, I can select the delete button. Good, so now we have to just respond to those delete buttons. Um, let me do a return here. A new pad and del pad, I think this is correct. And then we're gonna go add pads. So we're going to create a new pattern here. Base zero, one, eleven, uh, three, uh, forty. Just like creating like a blank pattern there. That's kind of like our basic, basic pattern, right? Uh, and then we're going to return. Created new pattern. Boom, baby. <laughs> um, and then we're going to delete the patterns as well. So if we delete the pattern, then we're going to go um, del pads, uh, del i pads um, cell pad. So if you don't want this, you don't have it anymore. Bam! You don't want this, you don't have it anymore. Now one has become the thing. Maybe we should do like an information here that deleted something because sometimes we might not see it. So let's let's save this. I'm just gonna copy this from a brain edit, uh, like a little information that uh, we're gonna go pat deleted. Boom. So now the first pattern is like the small pattern. Cool. Now deleting patterns is a bit of a problem because it's a linked list and so the linkages might get broken and so forth. But you know, we're gonna deal with that problem when we're gonna deal with that problem. So we can create new paths, we can delete paths. Cool. We've done all those things. Now we can start going through the list. So we kind of have to figure out the aimed versus uh, static. That's something that we have to figure out because this is going to be the, the next uh, two things. And then we have to do r figure out the sum sometimes. This might be a mo modifier, a pattern modifier. So let's call, call it sometimes pat. And then let's call it a rapid fire pat. The rapid fire pad is comes with some baggage, so that's, that's why I want to maybe do the sometimes pad first, <laughs> and then we're gonna think about the rapid fire pad. Uh, but yeah, these are all things that come up in the next episode. For now, let us go to the doggy zone. That's right, the doggy zone. Yes, the doggy zone, and you know, it's it's gonna be the same pattern as always. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out all these things and uh, it's gonna be the challenge for the next doggy zone. Figure out how to do the aimed shot versus static shot. Right now, all of the shots are static, but what if you want to have them aimed, how are we gonna figure this out? That's gonna be up for you to decide. Um, we're gonna have to like 
put our, our thinking cap on and figure out how all those systems work together to create the aimed and static shots. Uh, and also I want to, to um, already maybe add a new pattern to our pattern tools, maybe a simple pattern that sometimes will not fire a bullet. So it's like a modifier pattern and that will reference a basic pattern. Uh, so you can type in, okay, this pattern fires this other pattern, but sometimes there's small percentage chance that the, the pattern won't fire and you can select the percentage chance. So when you click, sometimes no bullet comes out. And yeah, and the next question is how do we make multiple bullets come out in succession? Again, that's gonna be a modifier, kind of like fire this pattern, but five times in a row with this kind of delay, you know? And we're already talking about delay, so we kind of have to set up some infrastructure. Cool challenge for the doggy zone. Yes, yes, yes. And at the end of each episode, as always, I will say a big thank you, a huge shout out to all of the beautiful people who are supporting this show on coffee.com. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Uh, thank you so much. And I'm sorry that this, uh, this tutorial takes such a long time, but you can tell that we're getting the good stuff. Today, I wanted to give a big shout out to a longtime supporter and, and, and amazing uh, developer, Loki Striker recently uh, published this beautiful shmup. I already did a, like a little bit of a test playthrough on my Twitch channel, if you, if you want to see that. Uh, but yeah, Loki Striker published a beautiful shmup, shmup based kind of like on this tutorial a little bit called Steel Search. It's the first level of a bigger project that he wants to undertake. So yeah, Steel Search, check it out, beautiful shmup. One of those amazing uh, PKH shmups that was created in the wake of this tutorial series that I'm very proud of. Incredible work, Loki Striker. Yes, yes, yes. So next time around, we're gonna have lots of bullets on the screen or sometimes we're gonna have no bullets on the screen. See you next time. Bye-bye.